Hello from Nokia in Finland, and welcome to our 5G in Action live series update. My name is Nancy Maloney, and I have with me today a very special guest, uh, Hari Homa. Thank you for joining us, Hari. Um, we're actually very lucky to have uh, Hari with us. He's a very busy person. He is a fellow with Nokia Bell Labs, um, a lecturer. Uh, you've written six books on radio technologies. Um, meets with our customers frequently. Uh, and when you're not doing all of that, you're probably running a marathon or training for a triathlon. So we're very lucky to have Hari with us today uh, for an update. And Hari, we asked you here to talk about a blog that you published this week about de de deploying a 5G overlay network. Can you tell me what was the blog about? Great. So thank you, Nancy, and welcome to this Nokia uh, video. So indeed, uh, Nokia would like to uh, bring the flexibility for the operators and the idea we are now showing is that uh, that operators are able to bring Nokia 5G radio on top of another uh, 4G LT vendor. And uh, of course the typical case is that uh, the same vendor can be used in both networks but there may be other reasons uh, why operators want to have the flexibility for bringing Nokia 5G radio. So when you do this, how do you limit the interoperability testing between the two vendor networks? Exactly. That is a good point because now the first phase of uh, 5G is based on so-called non-standalone architects, NSA. And in that case, LTE network is still used for the control plot and for the anchoring. And, and therefore, the Nokia solution is such that uh, when we bring the Nokia 5G radio, and then at the same time, we also bring thin layer of Nokia 4G LTE radio. And by doing that, uh, we don't need to do any kind of interoperability testing between the existing 4G vendor and the Nokia 5G. That's great. In the long run then, what is the benefit of taking this approach? Mm. Uh, the next phase of uh, 5G will be based on so-called standalone SA architects. And that allows to use uh, 5G core network and then provide 5G services. And, and typically we need to bring low band 5G radio for better coverage uh, when we have the standalone architects. And now the Nokia LT layer can be used and can be converted into low band 5G uh, layer. The solution is that uh, we can have RF sharing, so radio frequency parts can be shared between LT radio and 5G radio, and that can be done even in a dynamic way. So it's pretty handy solution turning the LT solution into 5G solution by next year. That's great. And Hari, we chose this location to speak to you because behind you is some pretty important equipment. Can you tell us what is uh, this equipment here? Yes, yeah, so it's a nice location here to show actually some piece of hardware what operators need to do when they deploy the 5G radio. And, and typically operators are using 3.5 gigahertz band for the 5G deployment and also typically they are using so-called massive MIMO beamforming antenna. And that is exactly what we have here on top of us. This unit here is a Nokia 3.5 gigahertz massive MIMO antenna. And that is exactly the main unit that operators need to bring to their base station site when they bring the Nokia 5G overlay solution. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you. An incredibly interesting topic. Um, and thank you, everyone, for watching us today and joining our 5G in Action series. I um, encourage you to read Hari's blog, which is available on the nokia.com slash blog website, as well as many other interesting blogs. And please keep following us on social. Thank you.